A signpost maps it out for the cartographically challenged. Let's see. the world eater that chewed off out of date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. The world eaters have made their marks on our world over time. That's not the first nor the last village it'll leave in its wake. Look, a survivor. Glad to see someone made it out alive. He's heard the stories about the terror inflicted by the world eaters to other enclaves. He worries there won't be much left to save if this could... He doesn't know what your connection is to this place, but something tells him you've stayed true to your heart. Anyway, he needs help and says it's by your actions you'll be judged, not... He's grateful for that. You still seem to have a spark of light in you. Ah! That's a spark of light in you! What's there to like about light? It hurts to look at. Not as much as it hurts to look at you. Always making this personal. And you're always trying to pretend it's not. There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. Out of date says you will make a better stand against the world eaters with the support of a tribe, and there are two nearby. The Myriad tribe is likely to be a good match as they act on the understanding of the greater good and have a code of honor. Regardless of who you choose, it won't be easy, as the conflict between the tribes is worse than ever, teetering on the brink of war. The Myriad's conviction to stop the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. The Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the tree of life. But siding with Chagney isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. Out of date. He believes the tribe Sifus, Myriad especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a visit. He can sense you share Myriad's view on the world. The Myriad would embrace someone willing to fight against the tyranny of the Jagni. Loma Utulu. Out of date will be waiting for you beneath the tree of life if you lose track of what you need to do. 
y boda que el mock. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. Another fork in the road. It's either the tunnel or the motor bridge. What'll it be? It's unusual that natural tunnels like this still exist. Most of them got flooded. This area was beautiful before the tribe war began. Look at it now, it's a war zone. That's the Myriad tribe's fortress. Will they be friends or foe? You should head up there. That way you'll know. It's a beaten path to that door. If you go there, you'd better make an entrance. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. Yes, I will. Says just because you've made time to meet the Sifu doesn't mean he has time for you. But you're welcome to give it a try. Sibi? La panen a ginkan man. Karatna fala kutut. The Myriad tribe act on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. They believe uniting the tribes is the only way to restore the peace. The Sifu is convinced that defeating the world eaters and saving the tree of life is the only way to make the world a better place. He welcomes you to the Myriad Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. But he was hoping you'd show up. The news of a vigilante ronin on crusade crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 has preceded you. The wall that separates them from the other side? The wasteland you came from? He guesses the time spent there just left a blank space in your memory, as empty and barren as the wasteland itself. He's convinced you've returned for a reason, and is glad you chose to come here. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense you're kind-hearted. The Sifu says sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. The Sifu says it's time to set the past aside, at least for now. Unrest is sweeping the land, and there are rivals in all directions. All the ghouls are gonna head, eh, eh. Mm, 
Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. If you believe there's some good in everyone, there's still hope for tomorrow. You'll unite the tribes and defeat the world eaters to save the tree of life. He was hoping you'd join them. You understand that there's no harm in doing good to others. The Sifu was... The Jagni tribe may believe that fear and hatred will lead them to domination, a vanquisition of the tribes and dis... Their kin have run out of options and found themselves backed into a corner. Even those who desire peace have been forced to prepare for war. They might bring them war, but they'll never take away their inner peace. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. You both have gentle minds, so they want to wage a gentle war. A war that bonds as much as it breaks. Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. Once you've dealt with the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu to unite their tribe with yours and let your kin share land again. They pass the point of no return as their words lost power and see no other way forward than using violence to combat violence. Seeing you, Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. He remembers your kind and unselfish soul. Anyway, the memories you make with your family are strong and can sometimes come to life. Past, even though it's now a different place from a different... The gatekeeper welcomes you back to the says you'll see each other. Let's see.
Better beware, that's a mump up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution, the wonky ones especially, deformed and unfurred. Time is lost on this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it, drawing you closer. Let's see. As time passes, memories fade and sometimes feelings change. It's not about who you were, it's about who you'll become. This story is far from over. Echoes of a long lost past like whispers in the wind. Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. He asks how you are today. Goop says he always does. He wonders where you've been. He understands. He thinks you should really know how to swim by. Why not? There's no better time to do what needs. He says, that wasn't too bad, was it? At least. But you need practice. Lots of practice. You just need more time in the surf. That's the only way you'll ever learn. You can never. Judging by your Mooma's look, it seems you forgot something. You promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down. The dedic Andro? You should know. Practice makes perfect. She'll see you at the village square. She says that's good. With a passion for... Here's another familiar face with lots on his mind. Asks how you're feeling today. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thing You should look for things that are recycled.
He wonders what usefulness you found. He says every little thing. He can work wonders with almost anything. You did well, but he can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon. He understands, but hopes you will... He's looking for... It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. You know she doesn't like waiting for you. Then you've got a good ex to Konda. She wants you to Pend Nampusa. Pend Nampusa. To Konda. You've all Bolakamun Rutna. Pend Nampusa. They look determined. Better watch out. He asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. He wants to know who you think you are. You'll have... She asks if you're hurt. What happened? She says it's nice of you to consider them, but they have weapon training. The most important thing is that you're okay. It's time to focus on your training now. You won't need excuses if you are strong in your... Is someone close to heart, doing what he does best? Seeing you always puts a smile on your... He asks if you could help him, too, before you leave for trade. He suggests you get... He's curious to see what you found. He's all. He can work wonders with pretty much. Thinks some are and some aren't. 
One thing works. He says it's about time you learned how. The style might be too edgy for his taste, but it looks sharp. He knows she's already proud of you and everything you've achieved so far. You should take it with you, wear it to practice. He thinks you should. She'll be proud of you. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. Your Mooma says it's about time you got here. Hopes you're as ready as you claim to be. She says she is eager to get started. You don't have much time left before the sun goes down. But there's enough time left for repetition and you need it. Training dummies don't hit back. That's a good attitude as long as you keep learning. Your Mooma says you did well today. She's so proud of you. Thanks you for being such a good student. Been working on a present for you. With You should go see him and find out what it is. You've deserved it. Says he's always thought. Your Mooma says she's never seen an apparatus as green as this little Figuring that out is half the fun. A piece? It's called an automaton, and it's hard one. Your Mooma says you look tired. No wonder. She's so Rest, and you'll find strength for tomorrow. setting the world on fire. Your Mooma urges you to blaze a trail. A burnt kidling will learn to dread fire. That's just adding fuel to the flames. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. Your Mooma says this is it. The time has come. She must fight Lupa Lupin. This time there's no escape. She can hear him coming. Lupa Lupin is a problem older than you. 
Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your Popsy, and those she was chosen to lead. She tells you to stay back. This is her fight. It she loves how brave you are, but she can't be worrying about you while she fights. This is her fight. Here it comes. The past coming to haunt the present. You must go through fire and water to make it out of here. Your Muma says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow. Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. The creature is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. As the moment fades and is lost, the only thing that remains is loneliness. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on.